Hi guys, I am back. I've missed you guys so, so much. And I just wanted to get on here and share with you guys a Dollar Tree haul that I've been saving for the past couple of weeks, I would say. I did a little shopping. It's not too much. It's not such a big haul. Um, but I still want to share with you guys because I did find some items that I'm very excited about. And I just wanted to say thank you guys uh, to those who have been there since my first video. And... For those that I've seen joining our YouTube family. So I just wanted to give a big thanks to you guys. And for for you guys that don't know me, uh, my name's Elizabeth. I, um, I started recently doing videos and I really enjoy it. I It relaxes me and I really enjoy talking to you guys and reading your messages and responding back and watching some of your videos some of your guys' videos too. I feel that that makes us a family, like a connection, you know? And sorry for the background noise, guys. My husband is over there, like a grandma, with a blanket and he's talking on the phone, so excuse the background noise, guys. And then the TV's going on back there too. Okay, so I just did a um, Kroger haul. So this is gonna go up after that haul so i did go to dollar tree i didn't get a lot of items like i said but i still want to share with you guys and this time guess what you guys i did organize this haul um by category by section so i didn't get much from each category but still i want to share with you guys so let's get the boring stuff out of the way these are kind of crushed like i said they've been sitting um next to my pantry for a while now so I got two packs of the toothpaste as you guys could see they are crushed I got two packs of these and then I got two packs of the shower curtains they only had dark colors so I got these are like gray I think yeah they look black but they're actually gray um, I got these two as you guys saw in my holler haul I bought a uh, Disney princess um, curtain but I do place those towards the in inside of the shower like lining that curtain so that it won't get damaged since I really love it you guys okay so now um, let's continue with the bathroom items um, these aren't exactly for the bathroom but they're you know go in your medicine cabinet or whatever you guys have so my husband found this petroleum jelly he wants to use this on a callus that he has I'm sorry if it's TMI guys but um, it's life you know and then he found these Curad bandages, which I thought was an amazing deal, you guys. These are the extra large ones. And they are, there are 10 to a pack, you guys. So they also had the, um, like the uh, gauze sponges. So in this brand, so um, I passed on those. I recently had purchased some gauze uh, uh, pads a while back ago, so I didn't need those, but uh, definitely look out for those. You guys are a great deal. And then moving on to uh, miscellaneous items, I was pretty excited about this. I found a movie, you guys. This is called Bernie. I don't know if you guys um, have seen it or not. If you guys have, please let me know if you guys liked it. I only got it because of this guy, Jack Black. I really love Jack Black, so. I was pretty excited to find this and if you guys can see and if you guys are interested in reading the synopsis you guys could definitely go ahead and pause that and read it and look for that movie at your local Dollar Tree so I'm gonna go ahead and see this tonight hopefully with my husband and another miscellaneous item we found was this I've seen this a couple of um, times now but I've never picked it up I wasn't sure if this is a an item that will work so it's like the as seen on tv brands my husband wants to pick it up to um see if it cleans a pc that we have so this is a wind cleaner we're gonna go ahead and try it and i'll definitely do a video on this while we're um in the pro in the process of cleaning our laptops so i'll let you guys know what i think about this and if it's a good deal so you guys could go ahead and look for it at your local dollar tree Alright, so moving on to the food items, we found this, I believe it's pronounced chai tea, and this is not a Greenbrier brand, guys, so if you guys are interested, this is what the box looks like, 
and we wanted to try it honestly I have never had this type of tea before so I don't know how good or bad it'll be if you guys have tried it please let me know in the comments down below what you think about it and then my husband picked up some Snickers these say crisper I don't know if that means they're crispier it just says crisper so yeah he likes those I really do not like Snickers you guys my favorite chocolate is the Kit Kat chocolate so there's a quick uh, little fun information about me and then I found these Nestle Nesquik uh, packets and I had purchased these before for my nephews I told you guys in a video but I ended up tasting about one or two packets out of the box and I make it in the mornings to take it to school and I really enjoy it I just heat up milk in the microwave add a packet of that mix it in stir it in and ready to go Next, my husband found this energy blend. This is just almonds, pecans, walnuts, honey roasted peanuts, and honey roasted sesame sticks. So, I thought this was an amazing deal. I did that Kroger haul you guys saw. If you guys saw it, um, maybe it posted a day ago or I don't know how many days. But uh, we did buy some pecans and he bought almonds, I believe. And they were $8, you guys, for a... Uh, well, it wasn't that small or big, but it was like a box of each of those, and they were $8 each. So we thought that was an amazing deal. And then I found these veggie straws. We have tasted, well, not these, but the ones that looked like the circular chips, like the, um, you guys know, like the um, ruffles. So I was looking for those, but I couldn't find them, and I saw these, and I... Um, I don't know. I thought these were the same thing, and I did open to try. I did open them to try them, and they just look like straws, like the package image shows. And I did try them already, but I'm gonna go ahead and try them for you guys. And I really like these. These do taste exactly like the other chips if you guys like them. So definitely look up, look up for those, you guys. Okay, next two items are, well, next three items are like kitchen um, essentials. So I bought some of these, and this is a mini review, you guys. I bought two packages of these already, and I didn't show you guys. I'm sorry. It was a very tiny haul, so I didn't, um, I just didn't wait to do a haul. So um, I tried them. I do like them. As you guys could see, they are poofy. But once you use them, at least for me, uh, the first time I used them out of the first use, these went flat. But still, I enjoy these, you guys. So I picked up two packages, and I really recommend these, you guys. The other ones that have, like, the scrub part, you know it's yellow, and then it has, like, a green scrub part. I find those to um, last less than maybe a week since the scrubby part starts peeling off from the sponge. So... Those have lasted me quite a while now. And next, I found some foam plates. Sometimes I don't feel like washing dishes, so I'll just use those, you guys. And, yeah, self-explanatory, right? Nobody likes washing dishes. At least I, I do like washing dishes, but, you know, when they start piling up, I just, I don't want to know anything about them. And the last items that I found, I was extremely excited about these, you guys. Um, before I show you guys, I do want to let you guys know a little bit of why I picked these items up. Um, I am 22 years old. I do not have children yet with my husband. We don't have kids at all. But uh, before getting married, I was... A not thin, thin, but I was like, I believe, like a hundred and... I was getting near the 150s and 60s, 160 pounds, and after we got married, over time, um, I started taking anticonceptives. I had the, I don't remember what it's called, but it's like a plastic little rod. If you guys want a video about this stuff, you guys can let me know, and I'll definitely find out more about it, and I'll show you guys where it was placed, and how it was placed, the process, and everything I'll let you guys know since I had mine for six years as you guys could know that is a lot of time for your body to adjust to um, different types of you know maybe not steroids but uh, 
you know what those anticonceptives can do to your body. They could lower your metabolism or make your metabolism faster and a lot of different types of things. So I had one in my arm for six years, you guys. I could, if you guys, like I said, if you guys are interested, I could definitely do a video, show you my scars because I do have a scar um, where that was placed and removed. So I went from being a relatively thin woman to a very big woman. I went up to 250 pounds, you guys, and right now I am very proud of myself because I was able to manage to lose weight over 30 pounds, and now um, um, I'm still on anti-conceptives, you guys, but now I'm on, on the shot. I don't exactly know what it's called since I just started it, but I'll definitely let you guys know about that too if you guys are interested. So... Um, gaining weight, losing weight, and all of that stuff made me get stretch marks, which is obviously um, something very common and normal in people who are gaining and losing weight. So I did find this um, cream, well I found various creams of the V Intensive Stretch Marks Cream. And I did pick up three packages, and these are five ounces, you guys, and I am very excited about these. I did open one already just to um, smell it, and I have tried it already a couple of times, so this is um, kind of thick lotion. I'm sorry, guys. It doesn't run, as you guys could see. I do have a scar there. I don't know if it'll work, so I'm going to go ahead and just apply it. it you don't need a lot it is very thick and you have to really work it to get it into your skin and this at first doesn't have any sort of smell at first it just smells like something medicated but not you know entirely gross like I don't I won't stand medicated uh, scents but this is not too bad but I find that after having this product on for a couple of minutes or hours even it smells good to me at least. I don't know how that happens, but um, I really like it, guys. And I've tried it two times now on my belly, which is more of the problematic, um, you know, location in my body. Uh, and I have noticed a difference in these two days that I have applied it. I usually shower, and right after showering, I'll go ahead and apply it. And I have noticed a difference, you guys. So if you guys are interested, definitely look out for this, you guys. And if you guys want, I could go ahead and do a, um, like, after a month or two month review on this lotion. So I'll let you guys know the progress and what I think of it and everything else. So I'm just going to show you guys the back of it and let you guys read the, um, you know, like, the quality and the um, benefits of using this uh, lotion and cream, I should say. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this. I should show you the box. I don't know why I showed you that. So you guys could go ahead and pause this at this point if you guys are interested. Okay, so um, here it says like um, argan oil and other things. So... And then some warnings, which is just basically like um, eye irritants. So this is it, you guys. That's it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And remember, I love each and every one of you guys. And if you guys are ever interested in watching any video, any type of videos for me, um, even if I have not mentioned it before, you guys could definitely suggest any videos. And I'll definitely try and do anything I can make things possible and make these videos for you guys so that's it you guys thanks for watching